would tell you that I have a love-hate relationship with bras, but girl, I would be lying. Let me tell you, when I come home from work, my bra is off before I make it to the bedroom every day. Even on days when I'm filming, like today, I'll take it off just to give the girls a little post-work break. Nice work today, ladies. Today, I'm going to be talking about comfortable bras and boob stuff. If that is something that you are not wanting to experience today, that's okay. I'll see you in the next one. So I wear two types of bras, pretty much strictly. The first is a full coverage convertible underwire bra, and then the other is a sports bra. I never leave the house without one of these, and they have completely different occupations. One is not invited to the other's party. I'm not wearing you to work, and I'm not wearing you to work out. So what I'm trying to say is they have very specific rules and jobs. True Kind reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try some of their shapewear bras and shaping panties. <laughs> I literally wear some form of shapewear every day. So I get these bras in, I've tried them, and there is not an underwire to be found. I don't think that I've gone to work without an underwire since maybe ever. These companies are trying to test my boundaries. To me, a bra has quite a bit to control. It definitely needs to have a smoothing effect on the front. I think that's very important. I don't wanna see any kind of bumps going on in these general areas, but equally important is controlling the side fat and the back fat. I know I said it. So I'm gonna try these on for you. The first one that I'm starting with is this one. It's the Supportive Comfort Shaping Bra. And honestly, to me, whenever I open this up, it looks like one of my full coverage bras, but it reminds me a whole lot. I took my daughter recently to like an intimate store and the bra that she got was a very, very similar style. They did not carry my size. I typically wear either a 44 double D or a 46D, just for reference. In true kind, I'm a size 3X. What this does is the top comes over, it's a little bit lower, almost to my waist, like my natural waist, and then it has molded cups underneath. My daughter has told me that she thinks that this style bra is incredibly comfortable, so whenever I saw it, I was pretty excited about it. And so you can see it has very formed cups, this smoothing element goes over it. This is in one of the newer colors, it's rose tan. They have beige, white, black, chocolate, rose tan, and chai. I'm actually wearing chai right now, I've worn this one to work this week just to kind of give me a feel for it. Both of these colors match my skin pretty well, so I'm gonna show you one of them. I'm gonna tell you that, like, I've worn this one without taking a break today. What I can say for it, it almost does the job of one of my underwear bras, but it doesn't hurt. <laughs> like, when I put my underwire bras on, they don't hurt, but throughout the day, they become increasingly more uncomfortable. The same thing with events, like whenever I'm wearing a strapless dress toward the end i'm i'm going to start feeling it especially right here on my sides i haven't felt any of that maybe i have a little bit more over here but it's incredibly smooth and i do like that for the 3x it has a nice wide four class band which i think is super important in the back smoothing and i just i've honestly never had a bra that came lower than like right underneath my breasts um, and i think that that's an awesome take so i'm gonna try this on and I'm gonna show you. Okay, I'm wearing some super high-waisted leggings just to make me feel a little more clothed. Let me tell you, my husband was an art minor. He had to take a figure drawing class and there was a girl who went in the first day. Figure drawing is where you're drawing people who are nude. And when the male model came in, she started laughing and she could not stop laughing and she continued to laugh. And she finally excused herself and never returned to class. Yeah, and my husband has always said that that would be me <laughs> because like, my comfort level with any level of nudity is not super high. So I thought that that would diffuse things, but it hasn't really. So, <laughs> I did want to show you that this is taking care of my three occupations. It is smoothing in the front, smoothing me over here on the sides, and then it's doing a pretty good job on my back as well. So I do think that this is a good place where a smoothing shapewear style almost sports bra meets a very supportive bra and it's truly comfortable, which I really like. My favorite part of this is the lower waist. So the molded cups come to right here. I'm not lifting that part up, but they come, it comes right underneath my bust. And then this goes down and I think that that gives a nice smoothing effect. Let me show you some of the straps. It's got some fun strap things. So if I'm wearing a one shoulder and I love a one shoulder moment, I can wear this. I typically wear a strapless bra, but I like to be able to have the option. Let me show you the back. This one also can crisscross in the front or crisscross in the back for those shirts that are not traditional two strap shirts. Um, I can also take it and crisscross the front and then also crisscrossing the back. 
there are definitely multiple ways. So these are the Everyday Comfort Smoothing Panties and I'm about to try both of these on. And basically they're just kind of a high-waisted panty. They're super low in the compression, but they do a pretty good job of smoothing. I was a little bit skeptical because some of the areas that I really like to smooth are like my inner thighs. I didn't feel like this was going to be enough, but in kind of a form-fitting dress, I think it is. I'm gonna show it to you without bra and this, and then I'll show it to you with. It's gonna be great. So here I am without a bra or supportive panties, and I definitely need support kind of all over the place. That's the area that I typically wear shapers for. And here's the thing, I wear shapewear every day. And if you do too, that's okay. And if you don't, that's okay. Like we all have to do what makes us feel the most comfortable. I'm about to get a little more comfortable. <laughs> I don't know what you're seeing visually, but I feel much more put together and much more comfortable. <laughs> I feel like I'm slim down here. And then most importantly, right here, I feel just like a nice smoother line that I'm happy with. So we're gonna look at the next bra. So next is the wireless shaping bra with everyday comfort straps. This one, I feel like, oh goodness. All right, and this one comes in black, beige, white, and it also comes in the rose tan that you saw earlier and then chai. And I wore the rose tan one one day earlier this week and it almost feels like a sports bra with a little bit less compression hold. Like I could actually probably wear it to, especially like a pure bar class and feel completely supported, which was kind of amazing. The difference really in the supportive hold and then the everyday comfort is that I feel like the support hold gives me a little bit more shape here. I think you'll probably see it in a minute. Had I not tried this one, I would be 100% amazed by this guy. I didn't know that I could wear a bra without an underwire and have results that made me feel comfortable enough going out into the world. <laughs> this one is still lined. It doesn't have like the lift up molded cups, but there are some soft cups in there. They flip a little more easily and they are two separate cups. The fabric on the inside and out is incredibly soft. This one still has a slightly longer waist. It's not quite as long as this one. And then it still has the four straps on the back. And one thing that I love is that it comes with a strap extender which is pretty handy. I didn't happen to need it, but I like that it's there and it's not something that I have to add on. I could probably put this on and wear it to sleep. It is that comfortable. When we go to Christmas and Easter, we stay with our in-laws out in the country. The whole family kind of gets together and we normally sit around and watch TV or talk or decorate gingerbread houses. And if we're in our pajamas, I like to wear a bra under. It's normally in the sports bra category because I don't want to wear the underwire category. And now I have this like beautiful in-between that's just comfortable and non-restrictive. It does have the clasp in the back, but I don't feel it. Like I, I think part of the everyday comfort is that it's completely seamless. The straps are also nice and thick, incredibly comfortable. There's no digging going on. All right, I've got the last one and the one that I'm really questioning because I just don't know how you do strapless without an underwear. So this is a convertible strapless bandeau and this one does not have any clasps. So this is all one solid piece. So I'm gonna go check out and see what this is like under a piece of strapless clothing. Okay, bandeau for the win. I started to get like an evening gown <laughs> that's strapless, but then I thought, you know, with that one, I could totally see wearing an underwire. This is a very casual dress that a normal bra does not work with and that I don't wanna wear anything super formal with. So I thought that the bandeau was the perfect bra to pair with this guy. It actually does give me shape, which <laughs> braless, um, I don't feel like I've got it. This one also has the low waist. It's incredibly smooth and there is no dip. Like it, it's like a band. That's why it's called the bandeau. It goes all the way across. The cups are molded inside and they can't be removed. And that's one thing that I really struggle with with a lot of bras is that those cups can move. Let me tell you, if I wash it with those cups, <laughs> they're sometimes in the legs of another pant, sometimes they're folded over and over here. And I feel like I can't ever get them exactly where I need them. And I also don't feel like they're doing what they intend to be doing. I feel like they are kind of a nipple cover as opposed to adding shape. Sometimes I can even see the triangle edges and I just don't love that. So all in all, I think that this bandeau is perfect for a more casual style outfit where you need to not have straps. All of these are incredibly comfortable. If I had to choose a favorite, it would absolutely be the supportive comfort bra because I feel like I can work that into my everyday life and it really solves a problem for me. So I can wear that from nine to five in my day job and not feel my bra, which I don't know about you, but that is 100% my goal. <laughs> so I have a discount code. It's right here on the screen and I'm sure I've got some links in the description box. If you have any questions, I will try my best to answer them. You just feel free to ask me. Like I said, if I was gonna make a purchase, it would be for the shaping bra. And then I also really like the panties. <laughs> so.
but everything absolutely has its place. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you bearing with me as I showed you all the goods. If there's anything that you'd like to see, please be, feel free to let me know. Likes and comments absolutely help this channel. The best thing that you can do to support me is doing exactly what you're doing and watching my videos. I wanna thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in the next one.